Hey guys, my name is Anya. I want to introduce you guys to a little bit of what we do and then one of my favorite modalities in order to get past any kind of blocks that we have within our bodies. So I'm going to introduce you to what's called vibrational frequency tapping. You might be familiar with something similar called emotional freedom technique, also known as EFT by creator Gary Craig. So what it is, it, it releases pent up energy within our bodies and it moves energy around in order to get rid of any kind of negative energy in our bodies and get rid of those blocks because hey, we don't want that crap in our bodies. <laughs> So um, relate this to an onion. So you keep appealing an onion to get to the core root of who you are so you don't have any of those negative blocks away. So, um, so what it is, it, again, it moves energy within our bodies in order to get rid of the negativity or any kind of crap BS that we don't want. So we start off saying uh, like the negative affirmations and then we end them on like a positive note. So. Awesome. We all we all want some more positivity in this life. I I have people asking me how to manifest, how to get past this. I have so many people that are trying to manifest, but they have so many underlying issues that they're just not able to do it and not able to do it quickly enough. A lot of some of the issues that I see are uh, undeserving issues, some worthy issues, not feeling like you're not some jealousy issues around money, not being able to attract the right clients. There's tons of issues out there and we're going to tap that away together. So you would start with tapping on the side of your hand. So this would be called the setup. So you would start over here and then say whatever affirmations come into your mind or come whatever comes up at that time. Then also the eyebrow points, the side of the eye, this is the soft spot right here, under the eye, under the nose, the chin, the collarbone, and then under the arm. So these points are similar to acupuncture points within the body. So acupuncture points go around your body. They're little meridian points that if you tap on them, that's what releases the energy, similar to acupuncture. So I like calling this emotional acupuncture for the soul. That's what tapping is. The difference between vibrational frequency tapping and EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique, is that we use theta brainwave technology within our tapping. So I am gonna put some on in just a minute so you guys can hear that as well. If you do have headphones, I highly recommend grabbing some headphones to get into that state. The theta brainwave state is similar to binary beats, if you're familiar with that. It engraves into your subconscious more. So it is also the manifestation zone, the, the brain wave in order to manifest more. So it goes into our subconscious more, goes all in there, gets rid of all those blocks, and then finally you'll be able to manifest whatever it is that you do want to manifest. So today we're gonna be working on just money blocks. Simple, if everyone's okay with that, if you're okay with working with money blocks, write a two in the comments below. Let's see that and see how many people, money blocks, we all have them. So let's begin, grab your headphones too. And then I'd also like you to rate yourself, how you're feeling between one and 10. 10 being like, oh my gosh, I have all these money blocks. Like I can't manifest money, it's really hard for me. And then one being like, you know what? Actually, it's pretty easy. We're gonna rate ourselves all over again in the end of the tapping as well. So grab your headphones, I'm gonna put on the music and let's begin. So let's start with the side of our hand. So let's start with the side of our hand. Even though I have these money blocks. So I'm going to say the affirmation and then I want you to repeat after me. And if you've come in later or if you're watching the replay as well, do the same thing. Repeat after me, grab your headphones and then we'll start to tapping and repeat after me. So even though I have all these money blocks, and they're stopping me from manifesting what I really want. And even though I have these money blocks, I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. And even though these money blocks might come from some ancestors or from society, 
or from Facebook. And even though I have all these money blocks, and it's not allowing me to actually manifest what it is that I do want. And what I really want is more money. And even though I have all these blocks still within me, I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. All these money blocks. All these money blocks. <laughs> I have so many different money blocks. Sometimes I get jealous of other people having money. Sometimes I think that I'm not deserving of money. Sometimes I feel like I just can't manifest anything. And sometimes I remember my parents telling me, oh, we can't afford that. Or, oh, we can't have that. Or, no, sorry. Better luck next time. And I think a lot of it stems from my family. And a lot of it from society, actually, too. Because sometimes I feel like there's just not enough money to go around. And that lack scarcity is what's not allowing me to actually manifest. Because instead of thinking that I'm abundant, I'm stuck in my head. And I'm doing this to myself. And I'm telling myself that I can't afford things. And I'm telling myself, oh, no, sorry, maybe next time I'll be able to buy this. And is that really healthy for me? These money blocks that I have within me. They're stopping me from being the best version of myself. This scarcity mindset. Thinking that there isn't enough money to go around. Because if Susie or Jenny over here, if they manifested a million dollars, there's no way I could manifest a million dollars. That's how the world works, right? <laughs> no. I know that's not true. What I do know is true is that money is just energy. And I'm moving energy in my body right now. By tapping on my face. With this weird girl online. I don't know what she's doing. And I don't know if it's working. But she's doing it, so I'm going to do it too. Because money is abundant. Energy is abundant. The world around me is abundant. And I need to focus more on that abundance in this world. Versus some of the negative stuff that I used to concentrate on. Because there's abundance all around me. There's all this greenery and the beautiful sun. 
The sky is very abundant. Leaves and trees are abundant. Flowers, mountains. And if I'm in this group, that means that I'm abundant too. Because we're here to lift each other up. And help each single one of us manifest more. So together as a collective, we are attracting more of the things that we do want. And we all want more money and nice things. And once I do have that money, I could spend it on getting more money. That's what I could focus on. And once I do have the money, I'll create a bigger impact in the world. And I can use that money for good. Because that's what money should be used for. So I am a good person. And I have a good money mindset. And I'm grateful for all the money that I have right now. And I just believe that more money is going to come my way. So I believe it with all of my heart. I believe it with all of my soul. I believe it with all of my being. That more money is coming my way. Because I'm attracting it with the energy that I'm sending out. And the energy that I'm sending out is all good vibrational money energy. The kind of energy that is going to make an impact and change the world and leave me happy and blessed. So I'm grateful for all this money coming in. And I believe that it's going to come in and I don't know from where. But I'm going to have total faith that it's coming my way. Because I finally peeled all of the layers of the onion. Peel them out of my body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit. And I finally made room for all the good energy to come my way. And once good energy comes my way, I create an invisible line between me and my own clients. because I am an energetically aligned to my clients and to this invisible money that's coming my way because that's how the law of attraction works you don't know where it's going to come from or how it's going to get there but I do know that I deserve it. I am worthy. I believe in myself. I am loved. I deserve all the abundance. 
because I work damn hard for it. And I am here to stay and make the right impact in this world so that I can help as many people as possible. Because of my products and services are awesome. And people would gladly pay for them. So I'm releasing any fear of any blocks and allowing all the good positive energy to come my way. Releasing it out of my body and mind. Releasing it out of my soul and spirit. Releasing all this negativity out of body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit. Perfect. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. Release. How are you feeling after that? Let me know in the comments below. Again, like I said before, we rated ourselves before the tapping. Let's rate ourselves again after the tapping. Again, 10 being, oh my gosh, I still have a lot of money blocks. We need to get rid of them. And one being, I feel so much better right now. I don't have any money blocks and I'm just ready to have this abundance come my way let me know in the comments below how you are feeling and if you still feel like closer to the 10 7 8 9 then you might have to do this tapping all over again get your free 10k abundance activation today this is a two-part activation where we will first release subconscious money blocks from your energetic field to be able to receive abundance coming your way then you will sit in meditation and activate the energetics of consistent 10k months to download this 10k activation go to anyahalama.com forward slash 10k activation